Hi, my name is uh, Georgi Radulov and um, an operational uh, oscillator circuit with a diode-based limiter is given. Let the setting of the variable resistor R1 is properly chosen for stable sinusoidal oscillations. What is the frequency of the oscillations and the parameters of the circuit are given? So, what will be the frequency of oscillation? Now, this is a Winbridge uh, oscillator and the principle of the oscillator is as follows. This part here is a forward gain. This is uh, just a non-inverting amplifier configuration with this input with some feedback resistors to fix the gain to a desired uh, level and diodes to clip the gain when uh, the amplitude become, uh, becomes too, too big. So uh, I'll just substitute this block with a forward gain, which is appropriately fixed, because the oscillator is operational, to the desired to the good value. Then uh, the oscillator is based on this bandpass filter. So this, this filter that has a high pass portion, let's name this impedance ZS, and a low pass portion, and let's call this impedance ZP. So these two form a bandpass filter, and this will be the frequency selectivity. So this is beta, and this is a bandpass filter. It has it has the highest transfer at a particular frequency, which will eventually be frequency of oscillation. And for this frequency of oscillation, what is important is that the transfer of this bandpass filter from point VA, so this point, all the way to the input of the amplifier, say this is point VC. So at the frequency of oscillation, the transfer of the signal from VA to VC must be real, so that what comes out from the amplifier is in sync with what comes in. So this signal is in phase with this signal. This means this can only be done if the transfer for this particular frequency of the uh, frequency selective network is uh, real. So let's see what is the transfer of the frequency selective network, so of this network, so from point VA to VC. Now I can redraw this circuit as impedance divider with impedances, so the input will be VA and the output will be VC, and the impedances will be Z. S and ZP. So from VA writing the current, this direction is VA divided by ZS plus ZP is equal to this current, the same current, VC divided by ZP. So now I'm interested from here to here, which is the ratio VC divided by VA and this is uh, ZP, ZS plus ZP, or in other words, if I let ZP equal to 1 over YP, this will be uh, 1, ZP comes below in the denominator, so this will be ZS divided by ZP, but I will use uh, the conductance, yp plus uh, here will be one simply now what is uh, i'll write here what is zs zs is one over uh, sc plus rs where i have simply that cs is equal to cp equal simply to c and rs equal to rp equal simply to r all right 
and uh, yp so these are two in parallel uh, will be sc plus one over rp simply so now i have here one plus one divided sc plus r r times yp sc plus one divided by r plus one now writing the transfer further i get uh, one divided by this times this is one plus s r c plus uh, one divided by s c r plus one plus this one all right now what we have is uh, one and uh, here we have s r c plus one over s r c plus three now for uh, sinusoidal uh, signals we should substitute the operand s with j omega where this is the imaginary uh, opera unit and this is the frequency of actually the frequency which will eventually uh, will derive as frequency of oscillation uh, but then rewritten the transfer of the bandpass filter will be one uh, j omega cr plus one divided by j omega cr plus three so here we need to rework it a little bit we multiply by j divided by j so that we have now vcva is uh, j times j will be minus so it will be j omega cr minus because of these two j's uh one omega cr and then plus three now as i said for the frequency of oscillation we need that the transfer of the bandpass filter is real and this means that the imaginary part which is this must be zero yeah so for then i can write that the frequency of oscillation omega zero for this omega zero the imaginary part which is this must be zero so then this means that this part is zero So at this frequency, then the bandpass filter here will have a transfer. So at this frequency, the transfer of the bandpass filter will be real because the imaginary part, which was calculated here, will be equal to zero. So the transfer will be simply one third. Uh, only this frequency at all other frequency will have imaginary part which means phase rotation and if you have phase rotation the um, input of this amplifier and its output will not be in sync so Barhausen criteria will not be satisfied and there will be no oscillation so thank you very much uh, for your attention